We begin tonight on the pitch. The story of the week. Historic English football club Sunderland AFC paying a visit to the land of enchantment to face New Mexico United in a friendly. <laughs> Tonight at Isotopes Park, Americium was taking on Europium. New Mexico sit ninth in the USL Championship Western Division. This is the second division in the US system, one tier below the MLS. But promotion to the MLS simply does not exist. Two points off the playoff at the midway point of the season, they've lost only one of the last six and are the form team in the division at the minute. Like San Antonio the other night, they planned to play a smattering of experience with academy players. Sunderland, for their part, fielded a mixed team again. A future SAFC pairing of Triantis and Ballard started the night, but there was still no fit circuit for left-back as Luco 9 started there. And with the coming game against North Carolina in only two days' time, Mowbray chose to play this game with no substitutes. Throughout, there was standard US advertising to contend with, where every aspect of the game seemed to have a sponsor. Free kicks had a sponsor. Draw the foul. Free kick coming up here. Fiesta Auto free kick coming up here. <laughs> Corners have a sponsor. Cross blocked by Ballard. So Bank of America corner kick coming up. The substitutes had a sponsor. So wholesale changes here at the break for Eric Quill. All of those substitutions brought to you by REDW, CPAs and advisors. There's no substitution for integrity. And so bizarrely did the 70th minute. 70 minutes gone by. That lets you know that the 70th minute of this match was brought to you by REDW, an Albuquerque-based CPA firm celebrating 70 years of keeping New Mexico moving forward. Let me give that a try. Once again, the opposition started better than we did. The first 20 minutes, New Mexico United were excellent. Easy chances fell to them. Repeatedly. Falls to Hernandez. Hernandez! And what a save from Matthew Young. Our fourth choice keeper had to make three excellent saves to keep us in the game. Along for the right as well. Swartz making the run. Harry Swartz, big time save from Young. And the 16 year old coming up big here early, Chris. Matthew Young did himself every credit, being an unexpected arrival on this tour. At only 16 years old, he's our fourth choice keeper, remember. Number three goalkeeper got an injury as well, so it really is up Matthew. Here's a huge opportunity. And it looks like the Sunderland goalkeeper production line is still in business. They're like, what's going on? Hernandez takes a touch. Here's Bruce, slides it off. Rivas, the Albuquerque native, Sergio Rivas. What a save from Matthew Young. Matthew Young, he might not be the number four after this trip, Chris. Although Tony won't approve of these hoof balls, that just returns possession to the opposition. 40 games maybe over the past few years. I was going to say, Something this, is, like that. this is when you turn, right? You're not normally this nice, <laughs> so this is when you start digging But in. let's not attach too much importance to these starts. These teams are mid-season and in peak condition. It's still early days for us. Plays it back to Rivas. New Mexico have been dangerous when they get in this situation. Rivas once again, and he just sends it wide. The Albuquerque native, Sergio Rivas, with an eye. Even going forward with the ball, we struggled with the New Mexico press. Bruce echo throughout the stadium, which I understand is not too dissimilar from one of your players, right? Yeah, not to be mistaken with Gooch. He'll be sitting on the bench wondering why he's getting shouted at. <laughs> Moreno putting some pressure here. On Ballard. And many of the lads just look tired and slow. Look at Neil and Barr here. Did not connect as he had hoped. I believe that was Neil. Here's Barr now. Swartz able to take that off his feet. Equar is just shattered after winning the ball here and simply stops moving. Seymour has that one taken away. But let's remember, they trained when they got here the day before. They trained again the morning of the match. And now they are playing in 95 degree heat, a mile high in altitude. It must be absurdly hard. At the lab, as we mentioned, temperatures incredibly high here. One player who didn't seem to struggle, though, was Alex Pritchard. Really appreciative that they were able to get to do that. 
Cross goes in. Parker. He was fizzing all around the box, full of ideas. Just under 10,000 a match as Pritchard sends this one over on the weekend. A little bit later this evening, but just know it is a big one. Sacramento Republic. A lot of changes at halftime for New Mexico United with the game on Saturday in mind. Well, the crowd, absolutely amazing. It's really loud down there and as well. And he should have had a yeah, penalty just a little for muggy this down there, really little humid. in the 13th minute. Um, it's just, yeah, it's really hot, but at least it seems like we've got some cloud cover, so hopefully that'll help the players. Pritchard goes down in the box, and there's shouts for a penalty. He doesn't get it. But it wasn't good, given. Probably a good thing it's a friendly here as we get another look on this TLC replay. Yeah, you can see he just does like a little elastico there and sugs bites on it and just dangles a leg. And yeah, the fourth minute, Himea had a chance. Excellent attacking with the ball again, and he does well to get a shot off here. Another foul, and Parker has to come out. Play on, says the official, and it just goes wide. Just a little combination. Good to see Pritchard and Hamir combine there, and the ball just got stuck under Hamir's feet a little bit, so he couldn't quite get it out from under his feet. Forced him to drag it wide, maybe even a touch by Ford Parker there. Just to From the subsequent Bungalow Cafe corner, the best food on a corner in Sunderland, Drantis charges and miss hit from Hume at the back post and nearly Richard. gets there. Low delivery, goes to the back post and somehow unable to be deflected in. And then Pierre Equa simply decided he didn't want to run anymore and brought the thunder by releasing this Polaris missile of a shot. Sizing one up and what an absolute banger. That was Equa opening up the scoring here, 38 minutes in. Wow. Off the goal. The Frenchman, Pierre Equa, as we have another look at this, left-footed strike. And as you said, just an absolute thunderbolt into the back of the net. Just before halftime, He-Man bagged another goal, showing his strength to shove the defender out of the way here and head into the net for 2-0 at halftime. Ball once again finds Pritchard. Pritchard, cross. Hamir with the header, and it's 2-0 to the Black Cats in first half stoppage. It's the Portuguese Youth International. Hamir putting the lads two up on the black and yellow. And it's just that. And that was halftime, sponsored by Nissan Juke. Half the car you wish you had. Halftime here at the lab. 45 minutes in the books between New Mexico United and Sunderland AFC. The Black Cats on top, 2-0. The second half saw no substitutes. Not a single one. Poor buggers. Ekwa and Pritchard continued to perform well, with Pritchard at the heart of everything. Incredible amount of energy to these matches and just uh, a real special treat here tonight. Yeah. This is Hume. Sunderland on the attack now. Pritchard finds Ba and looking to make it 3-0. And from the subsequent Bungalow Cafe corner, Pritch put a good ball in that Triantis attacked, nearly scoring. He had another solid performance tonight. Again, nothing spectacular, but little wrong. Sunderland a little slow getting out of the changing room and the energy. Hermia started to drop deep as the lads increasingly looked tired and accepted balls on the break. Here's Reyes, Jacobo Reyes. The, uh, and again here, dropping to try and win the ball. Headed away. Balls to Garvanyan. And Garvanyan has that taken right off of his feet. Ba going on a run. Still Ba. Gets it over to Lahaji now. Lahaji was not as good as he was against San Antonio today. Double team. Lahaji trying to work his way around Micah Madrid. And a job. Too often he was too weak on the ball. Really good on the ball. His passing and his vision is really, really good. And, and too like often he was too easily beaten in the heat for pace. Against Dan Ballard. That'll be a great battle to El Salvador. Cut back in, in Europe uh, where he conceded one goal. New Mexico. But he did put Pritch through for his pen. Um, it's just, yeah, it's really hot, but at least it seems like we've got some cloud cover, so hopefully that'll help the players. And popped up with the goal after the hour mark. If you can play poorly and provide and score, then maybe you're not doing so bad. And what a save from Ford Parker, but eventually it's tapped home. It was Lehaji, the fox in the box, to put the Black Cats up 3-0 here in just the 66th minute. Did I use Fox in the box right? Thick goal there for Lee Haji, just in the right place at the right time. So that's Luke 09, just fires the ball into the box. 
Swing and a miss. Is that Hamir? I think it is. Comes back to him and Lehaji, great first save. Paul Parker, he'll be disappointed in his defenders. No one reacted after he got a, a decent hand to that. That's a decent save. None of the defenders could really do anything about the second one. Lehaji was first to the first to the ball bobbling around the box to stick it home. And there we were, 3-0 up. But conditions were clearly taking their toll, and as the match drew to an end, tired legs conceded ground. And in the 88th minute, New Mexico United got lucky with a deflected shot from outside the box that looped over Young to spoil his night. Here's Garvanyan. And Garvanyan off the deflection, and New Mexico has pulled one back 88 minutes into the match. It's the Albuquerque native, Milo Garvanyan. I think there was going to be some kind of through ball coming. And you see there, he just thinks, why not? And that's maybe Dan Ballard comes out. And, it's and then in time added on, the ref inexplicably gave this contact as a penalty to an incandescent Trey Hume. In, and the official points to the spot, Chris, and a penalty coming up here for New Mexico. Trey Hume, furious, and Hume not happy with Isaac Zuleta. Let's look at this compared to Pritchard's penalty show. And New Mexico. Well, it looks obvious to me that Pritch has been cheated here. And New Mexico. No matter the Henderson insurance penalty, helping you avoid the premium penalties, even if you take the points, was converted. And the game ended, and it didn't distract from Man of the Match being Alex Pritchard. Was trying to take it, and Zuleta finds the back of the net. He scores on his New Mexico United debut. Only a year ago, there was a generally assumed truth about Pritchard that he couldn't play more than 70 minutes. Well, tonight, in the toughest of conditions, he showed that no one should ever say that about him again. By the time you've seen this, the lads will have defeated North Carolina and wrapped up the American tour and have headed home. And, in a magnificent feat of poor planning, man has holidays for the next fortnight. I'm off to do the North Coast 500, so I won't be back until the Rotherham game. Love to you all, and see you then.